30-year-old Adem Nikizik is accused of killing his pregnant girlfriend and their unborn child after crashing his car while driving recklessly and intoxicated. The incident occurred at around 4.45am on Saturday the 28th of January, after a night of heavy drinking. Adem was reportedly speeding and weaving through traffic in his 2021 Dodge Challenger along Highland Boulevard in Staten Island, New York. His fiancée, 23-year-old Adriana Silmetage was in the front passenger seat when he lost control and smashed into a brick wall and a wooden utility pole between Rose and Ross Avenues, splitting his car apart. Adriana's body was ejected from the car and found at the intersection. Her severed leg was found 20 feet past her body. Her unborn child was ripped from her body and was found 20 feet past her leg. Neither her or the baby could be saved and both died at the scene. A responding officer cut Adem's seatbelt and helped him out of the car. Adem said that another driver cut him off before he crashed. He reeked of alcohol, was slurring his words, and was swaying side to side. He refused to take a chemical test to determine the amount of alcohol in his blood. He was transported to a local hospital, suffering minor injuries in a stable condition. The couple were expecting the birth of the baby girl on the 12th of April. When Adem made his first court appearance on Monday the 30th of January, he was sobbing uncontrollably in front of the judge after his lawyer broke the news that his seven months pregnant fiance and unborn daughter were dead. He's charged with negligent homicide, vehicular assault and drunken driving. He's held on a $400,000 cash bail or $700,000 bond. He's scheduled to be back in Staten Island Court on Thursday the 2nd of February. Two people were kidnapped, tortured and burnt with a jet flame killing a man while the female victim escaped with injuries. 44-year-old Mariana Taitoko and 52-year-old Sean Froggart were allegedly held against the Will and the Housing Commission Unit at 5 Levitt Street in Wyong, on the central coast of New South Wales, Australia, from Thursday the 26th of January to Saturday the 28th of January. Sean's lifeless body was discovered in the bedroom of the unit after Mariana managed to escape and call police from a friend's nearby home on Saturday afternoon. Mariana was in a stable condition at Gosford Hospital on Tuesday after suffering serious burns to her arms and chest, as well as bleeding on her brain. 30-year-old Daniel Hosapis was charged with murder and kidnapping, while his hairdresser girlfriend 33-year-old Bonnie Cullen was charged with concealing a felony. Daniel was alleged to have beaten and tortured Sean and Mariana throughout the three days and burnt them with a jet flame lighter. Police said that the four all knew each other and that the torture and kidnapping was related to an unpaid drug debt. Bonnie, who rented the unit and shared it with Daniel, is not accused of being responsible for Sean's death or Mariana's kidnapping. The abduction came after Bonnie recently left compliments on Mariana's Facebook photo saying, You look stunning lady, kiss hug, and so nice, love you with straight hair. Sean also lived in the housing commission unit complex. He had been living with epilepsy and needed a caregiver, while Mariana lived nearby. Daniel was arrested at the unit on Saturday and Bonnie was taken into custody while visiting a relative in nearby Watanabe. Neighbours said they did not notice anything out of the ordinary after seeing the four together on Australia Day. One woman said she ran into Bonnie around the building several times, but never saw her boyfriend. Both Donnie and Daniel's matters were raised in the Wyong local court on Monday, however neither appeared in court or applied for bail. They remain in custody until their next scheduled court appearance on the 28th of March. The investigation into the matter continues.